Republican senator from Alabama, Senator Richard Shelby. Of course, we had booked for a lot of different reasons this morning. Yeah, senator Shelby, obviously, our, our, our thoughts and prayers uh, are with the good people of Alabama. My son was in Tuscaloosa when uh, those tornadoes came through. Uh, horrifying experience for everybody there. And so uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you all, and we will continue our focus on that. Let us uh, begin, though, this morning with your reaction to what news broke across the wires last night. Well, this is a great success for the CIA and also for the Navy SEALs. This is a big victory. Uh, they should be congratulated. Uh, I had the opportunity to chair the Intelligence Committee for nearly five years. We put in a lot of reforms. Now you're seeing the results of these. This is a signal victory. This is not the end of the war by a long time, but they're to be congratulated. Uh, this, is, this is someone that we, Osama bin Laden, we had been hunting for years. We found him. They executed the plan well, and they're to be congratulated big, big time. Thank you. Uh, uh, Senator, you know, uh, we've been talking here on the set about the muted reaction of the Arab world. It is my sense, we can go back to 9-11, the entire Arab world just about said, this is terrible what was done to America. And they were feeling very, you remember a lot right. of them so supportive of us. They knew who, who uh, bin Laden was at that time. Things got a little murkier since, but I got a feeling with the reaction today, they still know who bin Laden is. He was a little monster of history, and no one is going to mourn him, and they're not going to do anti-American administration uh, demonstrations. So do you see it a little bit like that? Well, a little, but, but let's be cautious here. There will be a reaction to this, because you have uh, uh, Osama bin Laden operatives all over the world. Look at Yemen today. Uh, uh, they've been spawned since 9-11. Uh, so uh, we have to be on alert. We got to be aware that this is a big step in the right direction, but the war is not over. Uh, and we have to really be alert in America right now. Mike Barnacle. Senator, earlier we were talking about the continuity within the intelligence community and the United States Senate in politics. Uh, from the Bush administration's uh, attempts to get Osama bin Laden to the Obama administration's attempts, finally successful to get him yesterday. We live in a world where a lot of people are turned off by the polarization of politics and the language of politics. Could you speak a bit to the fact, we think it's a fact, that there is cooperation and continuity at the highest levels, you mentioned the Senate Intelligence Committee, in, in the defense of this country, that there is continuity there, that there is cooperation among absolutely. people different that, parties. You're absolutely right. This, this is, the thread runs through. The security of this nation is, it should be and is number one, uh, and this has been manifested here uh, in the last few hours. Uh, but, but we have reformed the intelligence communities, uh, the community, and this is a result of this, I believe. Uh, we support them, uh, we back them, and now we revel in what they've done, and they've done a great job. Senator, let's talk about uh, Alabama. Sure. Uh, and uh, the tragedy of Alabama. Uh, I was heartened to see the president uh, show up as quickly as he did. Uh, Absolutely. Every, everything I've heard on the ground is the, the federal government has done a remarkable job reacting quickly. Uh, what needs to be done moving forward? I have so many people calling, emailing, asking what can be done. Uh, what's the answer? What can be done to help the people not only of Tuscaloosa but of Alabama and the southeast touched by this terrible tragedy? First of all, uh, we, you're absolutely right. Uh, the federal government has been on the ground. FEMA is, is uh, doing a good job uh, now. There's been a lot of volunteers from all over the nation coming into Alabama, my hometown of Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Coleman, uh, Rainsville, and you, and you name it. Uh, that won't be enough. You know, if you, if you see it from a helicopter, if you see it from the ground, uh, not just Tuscaloosa, my hometown, but that's where the, a lot of it was, you see literal hell there. And 
people are going are probably going through shock right now, but it's going to be rebuilding. I believe our people are strong. I know that we're going to stay together, and we need the help of the nation. We need the prayers of the nation to make us stronger and sustain us because this is not going to be over in a week. It's going to take probably years to rebuild what we have. And the president said it was the worst devastation he had ever seen. Mm. God, it it was the worst. I've I've seen hurricanes. I've seen tornadoes. I've seen fires. Mm. I've even been in a small earthquake one time, but this is the worst tornado. I guess it's the mother of all of them. Mm. Yeah. Senator Shelby, we wish you the best. Our prayers are with your state this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we're going to have a live report from Pakistan.